On February 7, 1497, the followers of Dominican priest Girolamo Savonarola of Florence, Italy, gathered and burned a large quantity of objects they referred to as vanities. Objects such as cosmetics, books, artwork, mirrors, fancy clothes, playing cards, and musical instruments, any objects these religious zealots thought could lead people to sin. Misguided people have engaged in burning books and other artifacts that they have seen as contrary to their view of what is proper, right, or moral throughout history. And of course the Florence incident was not the first or largest of these burnings, although it is one of the more famous examples. Little evidence exists that such public burnings ever accomplish the purification of a culture that is sought by the fanatics doing the burning. In fact, this incident inspired the title of a Tom Wolfe novel, The Bonfire of the Vanities, from 1987, and a subsequent feature film based on the book by the same title in 1990. The film, starring major Hollywood actors such as Tom Hanks, Melanie Griffiths, and Bruce Willis, is about a hit-skip accident caused by a rich white stockbroker who is subsequently tried and acquitted for the crime. It has nothing to do with the original basis for the name of the book and film. The violent attempt to force one's morality and ideas of propriety upon others in a society by destroying books or other symbols of decadence have resulted in spectacular book burnings such as those seen in Nazi Germany during the 1930s when books by Jewish authors, even prominent scientists, were burned in enormous piles and glorified on Nazi news films while being condemned by Walt Disney and others. Sadly, this sort of deranged mentality as exhibited by the Nazis has also often resulted in people later being burned instead of or in addition to the objects. Again, most blatantly exhibited by the Holocaust when millions of people were murdered and burned. In the United States, we saw rabid patriots burning Dixie Chick CDs when lead singer Natalie Maines made the mistake of disrespecting President George W. Bush in public by denouncing the imminent U.S. invasion of Iraq and saying the singers were ashamed that Bush hailed from Texas. This sort of idiocy has resulted in tragic loss of historical documents and records, such as the burning of the Library of Baghdad in 1258, the burying and burning of scholars as well as their works in China under the Qin Dynasty from 213 to 210 BC, and the destruction of everything today's ISIS or ISIL Islamic extremists deem un-Islamic, including priceless ancient treasures. At other times, burning sacred objects is purposely confrontational, such as the threatened 2010 burning of the Koran in the U.S. Today this sort of activity can be staged through electronic means, involving the cyber destruction of information such as the deletionism of articles on Wikipedia by persons that think they know better than everyone else what should or should not be available for reference. Obviously, we at History and Headlines condemn any sort of bonfire of the vanities. As a question for my students, what do you think? Is such action ever justified? If so, under what conditions? If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines. Your viewership is much appreciated.
Oh, and uh, one last thing. In case if you're curious what happened to the Renaissance Florentine book burner Savonarola, well, as they say, what goes around comes around.